technical officials from troop contributing countries to the Africa Union transition mission in Somalia have today kick-started preparatory meetings for the head of state summit of the troop contributing countries to Atmis due 27th April 2022 at Entebbe State House. The objective of the summit is twofold to evaluate the achievements made in the implementation of the ATMIS mandate, to review the ATMIS drawdown plan in compliance with the United Nations Security Council resolutions. The head of state summit will be a follow-up event after a meeting between President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed of Somalia and the President of the Republic of Uganda, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, during the United States Africa Leaders Summit held in Washington, D.C., from 13th to 15th December 2022, in which Honorable Hassan Mahmoud requested Mr. Museveni to host an extraordinary summit of the head of state of the troop contributing countries to ATMIS, which include Burundi, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Uganda. While opening the session of the technical officials of the TCCS to ATMIS was on Monday at Serena Conference Hotel in Kampala. The head of the Uganda delegation, who is also the head of the Regional Peace and Security Department and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Julius Kivuna, welcomed delegates and thanked them for accepting to participate in this important meeting of the TCCS to ATMIS. He called upon experts to discuss as candidly as possible so that the meeting can propose workable recommendations for strategic leaders of ATMIS to make decisions that will support the smooth and peaceful drawdown process of the ATMIS troops. He extended Uganda's appreciation to the TCCS, the host country Somalia and ATMIS partners for the immense support, sacrifice and the spirit of brotherhood in an effort to promote and sustain peace, security and stability in Somalia and our region. Recently, ATMIS projected the number of dead soldiers to be around 3,000 since the mission started in 2007, noting that thousands of others have been critically injured. According to the mission, over 200 million has been used as compensation to the families of both diseased and injured soldiers throughout the same period.